Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Build Tips Part 3. We're going to talk about the belt routing, talk about the XY gantry, that type of thing, um, how I generally will set up the belts and all that kind of stuff. So um, basically what I've done here is I've changed the bill of materials and I've changed some of the parts around so that the printer just uses all F 695 bearings. I think I mentioned that in my build tips too. So these are the updated parts. There's only very minor revisions. Um, essentially, I had to increase the thickness of the bottom here just by 0.6 millimeters. Um, and then I increased the thickness of the front idler towers by 0.6 millimeters. And I moved these bearing stacks one millimeter forward just to help with alignment. You could probably still get away with running the, the all bearings with the old printed parts. They'll just be like slightly loose, which shouldn't really be a big deal. I believe a couple people on the Discord are doing that and um, their printers are printing just fine. So again, I've taken the 20 tooth idlers out of the bill of materials and the printer now no longer uses these um, really stupid shims that are tricky to source, they're expensive for shipping. Um, so those are gone. So everything is all kind of simplified. So let's talk a little bit about belt routing. This is Core XY. If you've never built a Core XY printer before, um, it can seem intimidating when you first kind of start looking at the belt routing on paper, but it does make sense once you have the printer in front of you and you kind of start routing the belts and um, it'll make a bit more sense. So generally what I'll do here is I'll start with the lower belt here on this side. And what I do is I will feed the belt into the back of this um, tool head mount and pull it out the front here. I've already cut these from my yellow printer, but you should leave yourself a good amount of slack here. You do not want to cut your belts too short. You'll have a bad day. So generally what I'll do is, like I say, I will put this belt through the back slot here. On these parts, especially on this TD6S um, Triangle Labs tool head, there are two teeth on the back here to grip the belt a little bit better. Unfortunately, on the standard Ender 3 hot end version, there's only one tooth just because of how much space I have here. So just be very careful with tightening the belts. You don't want this to be too tight and they start slipping out of the actual holes. Um, you can find a happy medium there, but just do note that on this version, there's two teeth on the back and on the original version, the CR10 or Ender 3 style hot end, the cheapo one, there's one tooth on the back just to help it um, catch a little bit better. Something also to note too is this tool head bolts onto this MGN 9 with four M3 by six millimeter bolts. You cannot tighten these bolts really, really crazy. Otherwise your rail will start binding. Just tighten them enough so that the belt doesn't slip out but that your motion is nice and smooth so keep checking the back and forth make sure it's not binding up um, there's kind of limited room in the back here for the bolts to um, come out otherwise they'll hit the hot end so again there might be future revisions of this but just note you cannot like really, really tighten these down crazy. You can still get them tight for sure, but don't take these bolts and just run them down until there's no gap behind here. You're, you'll bind up your uh, MGN rail. So again, we're starting with the bottom belt here. So the bottom belt, it comes through here. It goes around the lower bearing stack. You can see the teeth are facing forward goes around the lower bearing stack, around the motor, and all the way through this carriage and around your first idler tower. Again, we're at the bottom. Goes right in front, around the bottom idle stack here, and then comes around this bearing stack and into the other side. That is your lower belt. So again, comes through here, 
around the motor all the way through the carriage, straight across, all the way and through this idler stack on the bottom and on the other side. For the top one, generally again, what I'll do is I'll start from the top right here, because again, this is gonna go over this motor mount. So that's generally what I do is I'll start on the bottom left to go over this motor first, and then I'll do the top right to go over this motor. So top right goes over, wraps around this bearing stack here, again, around the motor pulley, straight through, straight through the front here, around this, and then it goes around the top bearing stack and into the actual tool head mount. Again, once you kind of start working this around in your head and you have the printer in front of you, it's pretty straightforward. It definitely looks confusing, like if you just look at it like this and try to work it out. But once you have the printer and you start running the belt, uh, it's relatively straightforward. So again, the bottom belt stays on the bottom. The top belt stays on the top the whole time you're routing it. Make sure your belts are going in between the flanges and the bearings. They do have flanges on the top and bottom. You can kind of see here too the M5 washers. So there's an M5 washer on the top. There's an M5 washer in between the bearing stacks. And then there's an M5 washer on the bottom. There are no M5 washers in between the individual bearings. Only in between the stacks. So we have an M5 washer, two bearings, M5 washer, two bearings, M5 washer. Okay, and like I say, definitely make sure that you're not tightening these M's, M3 by six millimeter bolts too tight. They should be just tight enough to make sure that these uh, clamp against the belt nice. And you also wanna make sure that your tool head mount is level. Don't tighten the top ones too much and then you get a crooked um, tool head mount there. So another tip here for now tensioning. My belts are, are loose right now. I haven't tensioned them. If you see here, you can hopefully see a little bit. Once I start tensioning this belt, this X gantry wants to skew a bit. Now, because this is kind of still a little bit of a prototype, if you actually slide this all the way to the back, you'll notice both ends don't touch the same spot. This is higher on this side than this side. So you don't actually have a nice surface here to tension the belts and make sure your X is nice and, and straight. So what I generally do for this is I will take a long M3 bolt like this and I will put it in the actual ledge right here so that I now have a nice spot here for my X carriage to back onto. And then I can do the same for the other side. Again, same size bolt. We'll put it in here on this side. Try to move this so people can see. So we have a bolt on this side and a bolt on this side. We now have a nice spot for both of the gantry to actually go here nice and straight. Again, you can already see because my belts are slightly tensioned, the gantry isn't 100% level. So this gives us a nice flat mating surface so that we can tension our belts appropriately. And generally what I'll do is I will lock in one side, I'll pull back on one side of the motor here, just kind of get a decent tension. It doesn't have to be really, really tight. The tool head on this printer is not very heavy. So you don't need insanely tight belts. It may require a little bit of back and forth, getting make sure your belts are nice and tight, but they don't need to be crazy tight. So I've locked in this motor mount and we can now start tensioning this one. And you can see the carriage moving a little bit. So we wanna actually tension this so that the carriage is, is sitting nice and flat up against those M3 bolts here. So I'm happy with this tension right here. We're gonna hold this in place and we're gonna lock it down. Again, you don't have to go crazy on this. Just make sure your belts aren't slipping. Okay. 
So that looks pretty good to me. Generally what I'll do then is I'll come over here and I'll, I'll, I'll check these. And these are actually quite nice. You can actually download an app on your phone and, and check the Hertz. I generally do these by feel. They feel the exact same. We don't have any loose belts and I can move the motion here nice. One of my bolts just fell down that I was using for tensioning, so we'll get rid of those. Definitely don't forget to take these out before you start actually using the printer. And that is essentially how to tension the belts, run the belts, and also uh, look at the new F695 uh, only parts. Again, you only want to make sure that this is tight enough, these uh, M3s, that it holds on to the belts here. You don't want to completely put them all the way in till they stop. Otherwise, you will bind up this, this MGN um, rail. Another tip, too, when you're at this stage, stage as well is you want to actually tram your bed and make sure the distance here and here is the same. So... Generally what I'll do is I'll take my calipers and I will actually measure this distance between here and here on this side and the distance between here and here on this side and I will manually adjust my screws to make sure this is perfectly flat. The same distance here and the same distances here. You will get all sorts of binding issues if this is even slightly off. So. That's generally another tip as well. Measure the distance between your build frame, your, your um, bed frame and the bottom on each side and make sure that it's nice and parallel. That way your bed will go up and down really, really nice. So that's kind of all I had here for the, the belt tips or the, the build tips three part. Um, I wanted to just focus on the belt, focus on the Core XY motion system so that people know how to route everything and tension. Again, these uh, back parts here are slotted so that you can tension them. It works generally pretty well. Um, normally, I would have like uh, an M3 bolt here so that you could tighten and then it would slide the motor mount back, but there's just not a whole lot of room there. And with the back being op so open, you can generally just use your thumbs here, pull the motor back, do one side at a time, and you can get a pretty good tension on them. Like I say, you don't have to go crazy with the tension. The tool head pretty much weighs nothing, and you'll have yourself um, uh, an easy time there. So again, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to comment below. If you want to support me on Patreon, it's in the description. Definitely, definitely join the Discord. There is, I think, seven rooks now printing in the wild so we're up to serial number seven if you want to build a rook or anything like that it's definitely um very recommended to check out the discord there's constant um people putting information and mods and all sorts of things on there so thanks again everyone i'll probably be making uh, maybe one or two more build tip videos on this printer so stay tuned to the channel and I'll catch you guys next time.